Hey guys, Kenny Faces here. Today I'm going to share with you a list of tips and tricks to help you achieve photorealism in Blender. Let's hop right into it. Use an HDRI for your scene lighting. This will instantly give your scene realistic lighting with minimal effort. You can download one for free at polyhaven.com. Use PhotoScan assets from Quixel Bridge or Blender Kit to quickly add realistic 3D objects into your scene. No need for modeling or texturing. Use high quality 3D models for your scene. The quality will make the difference, so don't settle for low poly objects. You can easily get access to high quality models through CG Trader, Blender Kit, and other platforms. Make sure to never use an infinitely sharp edge. These don't exist in real life, and even on a sharp kitchen table, there is still a very small bevel. So make sure you add that in when you're modeling your objects. Use real life camera lens sizes. The focal lengths do matter. Typical sizes include the 50mm and the 85mm lens. Use the lens distortion node to add some chromatic aberration to your renders. Just don't overdo it. A good dispersion value to try would be 0.01. You'll want to experiment with your settings to get the desired look for your specific render. Enable depth of field on your camera. Don't overdo this, and try to experiment with real-world f-stop values and camera distance from your object. Utilize environmental volumetrics where applicable. You can easily add a volumetric shader with the volume scatter node. Add lens flares and other effect overlays in Photoshop or other post-processing applications such as Adobe Premiere. Turn off denoising and use a high sample count to achieve natural grain in your renders. Use high quality light path settings for your renders. Blender automatically sets these to low values but you should consider raising them for a higher quality result. Use real world scale for every object in your scene. Blender's built-in metric scaling tools will help you achieve these results very easily with some quick conversions. Use realistic aspect ratios for your scene. Blender has built-in presets for standard screen sizes and resolutions. Render at the highest resolution you possibly can. More pixels usually means higher quality all around for your finished renders. You can even set a percentage to easily increase your resolution. Use realistic material physics settings, specifically for glass objects. I've included the IORs of glass and water for you to paste into your material settings. Import realistic textures and materials to use on your objects. You can download these from Blender Kit, Polyhaven, Quixel Bridge, and even Shokofer. Use realistic lighting by implementing the black body node for your light source. Blender's documentation even shows you specific temperatures you can use for different scenes. Add surface imperfections to the objects in your scenes but make sure not to overdo these. You can easily find imperfections like fingerprints on Quixel Bridge. Make sure to use reference photos when you're trying to recreate a real life object or environment. This will give you an accurate idea of what to aim for. Simulate physics at the highest possible quality to replicate real life. Bakes will take longer, but if you're patient enough, the results are well worth it. Use thick surfaces for glass objects. Nothing has an infinitely thin wall, so make sure to add a solidify modifier and adjust as needed. Play around with the color management settings to achieve different exposure and contrast levels for your specific scene. Cross-checking these with your reference images while you work. Did I miss any important tips or tricks for achieving realism in Blender? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future tutorials.